mechanism. This is the circular two nebulizer system. Actually, we've made it up. It's a hybrid from different circular systems, but this is what we want to use to deliver S1226. It's a normal nebulizer, which is commonly available in hospitals around North America and the world. It's connected onto a reservoir bag T-piece valve system, which has a bit of expiratory resistance in a mouthpiece, which again is available throughout hospitals in North America and the rest of the world. And what it does is allows the aerosol that's generated on exhalation to be conserved. We're going to hook that up in a minute to our breathing machine. Our breathing machine is a diaphragm displacement unit. You turn it on, it's going to displace 500 millivolumes 15 times, 15 breathing cycles in a minute. So this is simulating adult tidal breathing. And we hook this system up to the nebulizer, the circular nebulizer system, turn on our 10% CO2. This area, this filter, is what, simulating what a patient will receive. This is one of the reasons, one of the ways we test this material. We've got, it contains a bit of formalin so we can collect the residue. But the patient is receiving this dose that's here. During inhalation, the patient will receive the CO2 gas, in, 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 CO2 enriched air, with the aerosolized PFOB and the vaporized PFOB will go into the patient. While the patient exhales, the aerosol and gas that's released from the nebulizer is served in a bag so that in, on the subsequent inhalation, the patient gets nearly pure CO2 gas, 10%, saturated with PFOB vapor, saturated with PFOB aerosol. So this unit, the addition of this bag and these valves in the circular, the West Med circular air system, should effectively cause very little pollution, effectively doubles our dose of PFOB CO2 to the patient, basically makes it consistently controlled at 10% saturated PFOB vapor and aerosol.